was over crypto muscle coming to you another YouTube video. Here we are internationally right now, worldwide, seeing his words at Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network coming to you with another YouTube video. Alright, alright, alright. Let's take a look over here. It is uh Hamster Bot in the background. Oh, and by the way, this is the Death Watch series. And yes, Death Watch today is going to be a different kind of Death Watch. Alright, and if you don't know what Death Watch is, well, let me just fill you in for a quick uh, few you know, seconds here on what Death Watch is about. It's about being critically acclaimed. Alright, no one else does the same. People love the Death Watch. People can't wait till I bring the next episode of the Death Watch. Alright, and... Um, I don't care if it's a Marcos bashing sat session, but one thing I do is uh, I keep it real, and that's the appeal, and that's the deal. All right, because this is the Death Watch. That's simply what it is. I keep it real, but I do that in all my videos anyway. So I don't know why it even matters if it's labeled Death Watch or not. But but it is a critically acclaimed um, feature that I do on my channel, so it's all good. All right. Uh, I wanted to bring some things to talk about here before we talk about hamster bot. All right, and let's talk about a little bit of the some of the stuff I've seen in crypto out there, such as uh, this right here. All right, Van Eck will shutter Ethereum futures ETF as spot funds struggle. The firm will liquidate its futures investment product two months after launching a spot Ethereum ETF. Isn't that crazy? It's funny how uh, with Bitcoin ETFs, uh, man, the struggle was real. The struggle was hard. I mean, it took a super long ass time to finally get Bitcoin ETFs approved, right? And then Ethereum ETFs didn't even take nearly as long to get approved. And, you know, looking at it, uh, Ethereum ETFs hasn't been as popular from what I've observed so far. So I can understand why Vanek will, you know, liquidate its position and all that and remove its Ethereum ETF. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if there's a possibility you just come back whenever down the road or, you know, when things are a little bit better in the market. Um, I don't know what it is. Or maybe they just don't come back all the other and just stick with Bitcoin ETFs. Any, anyways, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't like ETFs. Uh, I just think that the way these uh, firms play with crypto and the, on the e ETF side of things, um, it's really is to me. It's one of the factors messing up the current market. All right. I mean, it's not the only factor. I mean, there's other environmental factors. Uh, that's going on in the world, right? World events affect performance of crypto, right? And how people spend money in general. And at the same time, um, these firms continue to play with the crypto. And, you know, when it comes to uh, putting into ETFs with a ton of cash to get people drawn in, all right, the market value goes up, and what do they want to do? Oh shit! You know what? Let's cash out, man. We're gonna profit off of this, and then they, you know, liquidate or cash out on everybody, and then what happens? Well, it it, it really liquidates a lot of people's positions overall across the board in the market, and so if it pretty much, I hate to say it, but it fucks everybody over. Uh, in, in general and then what happens the value of crypto goes back down right so you can see there's a lot of playing in the market right now um, when it comes to the firms and ETFs and I don't like ETFs I don't care for ETFs but it's a different kind of ball game with ETFs and a different kind of um, times right now because these times in crypto is not like how it was five years ago, for example, um, you know, you could say four years ago, four or five years ago, right? 
you know, six years ago even on its run up in the bull run, right? What happened? It was people driven, right? Not these firms. Yeah, you get a couple, you know, here and there, but but they're barely learning about crypto just as people were, but more people were involved in it, in that way in the in the discovering of crypto, and so firms were just barely kind of scratching the surface compared to people at the time. And even with people at the time, it wasn't a lot uh, in general because um, it was just kind of just a, a trend that just kind of just developed over time. And that's why you had this bull run that happened, hitting its all-time highs um, compared to its, I guess you could say, its previous cycle where no one really truly knew about crypto at that time before that. They say that cycles come typically every four to you know four years ish, give or take. There's really no um, you know like calculated formula except they they, they try to go off of uh, you know the charts and all that and analysis and and uh, I mean if you follow that that's fine but I, I don't really follow it either. I always look at current price and and. Uh, I don't like to look at trends though. I mean, I like to look at past prices, but I don't like to look at trends because um, because I, I just think that any given time, uh, you know, these sort of things, something can rock the value at any given time, right? There's always gonna be black swan events that happen. You can't predict that stuff and analysis won't predict that stuff either right for example no one ever predicted the COVID outbreak and the market tanking that that it did in March 2020 no one and I bet you there was no analysis that indicate anything like that whatsoever either and if it did show me because there's no way all right now um, I just wanted to point this out because um, I say good <laughs> all right that's just one firm removing itself you know, from Ethereum ETFs. I don't think it's as popular, though, as Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, let's see here. Robinhood settled with California for $3.9 million after Probe finds users were blocked from withdrawing crypto. So they took crypto in, and then there was some lame excuse as to why people couldn't withdraw crypto. Um, I guess they got sued or something, and it was investigated, and Robin had, has to pay now. Uh, Coinbase secures partial victory over SEC and motion to compel discovery. Whatever. All right. Uh, I don't know if there's any sort of other news that I uh, wanted to see here. Let me see here. Uh, look at this. This was uh, yesterday. Spot ETF, uh, Bitcoin ETFs, 200 million in outflows, extending a streak of negative flows. Well, yeah. Because again, Companies might see something. They're like, ah, let's just cash out, right? Because right now the market's not really, you know, there's it, it, just, it's just not. There's really no excitement going on right now for the market to increase. They say that possibly the elections, especially if Trump gets elected, that it, it might trigger a a, a a nice pump in the market. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, it it can. Right, but what do I know? I don't know. Uh, we'll see, right? Um, let's see here. Nvidia, they make, um, you know, like, what do we call it, uh, um, graphics cards and computer uh, hardware. Like, let's just go with that. Computer hardware, all right? Um, whether it's uh, graphics cards, um, you know the processors and such. Uh, they make they make a lot of different things, right? There's been a, a big, massive pump in their I guess their stocks and stuff lately. Um, I don't know. Maybe they're about to be investigated against. You know, because there's like some something going on with that. I don't know if there's. Let me see if I can roll this back a bit. Oh yeah, the other day, a couple of days ago. Look at this. 
Over one trillion was wiped from the U.S. stock market earlier in the week, September 3rd. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> 2.8 trillion asset manager Goldman Sachs fires 1,300 employees. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like we've been in. in uh, people say that we were not, we're not in a recession. We haven't been. I, I think we've been in this sort of quiet recession. It just hasn't made headlines. But we've been in this sort of this recession type of feel. I don't know if it's because it's, you know, in the U.S. It's like with all the inflation going on. I just feel like we've been in this in this sort of recession for a while now. Uh, this is interesting too. FBI warns that North Korea is trying to hack and steal U.S. crypto and Bitcoin ETF funds. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Um, if they actually did. Uh, let's see here. What else? So Europe is open to uh, crypto debit cards, allowing users to spend self-custodial wallets at 100 million merchants. It's pretty nice. Uh, billionaire Mark Cuban says, if Kamala Harris taxes unrealized gains, it will kill the stock market. Duh! I mean, but this, this uh, dummy here, I like him on Shark Tank, but I don't like him because he still supports the Democrat Party. All right. How can you support Kamala Harris if this is what she wants to do? All right. That's what I don't get. Whereas Trump is all about crypto. Elon Musk is all about crypto and he wants him on board as part of the team. That's why he brought him on board. And this would be interesting if this actually does go through where, you know, if he's elected and he actually does what he says he's going to do that they're going to have a government commission led by Elon Musk to audit U.S. agencies. That'd be fascinating if that happens. And then, then yeah, stupid shit like this. Ripple co-founder, uh, executive chairman Chris Larson endor- endorses Kamala Harris. Man, Kamala Harris <laughs> acts like she favors crypto, but she's going to tax your unrealized gains, you dumbass. I was going to say you dumb fuck, but I, but I said dumb ass instead. Look at that. Bitcoin falls under 54,000. Uh, let's see here. Donald Trump says he will lift U.S. sanctions against Russia because it's hurting the dollar. Interesting. And you know what's funny? Wink, wink, right? Um, Putin says he uh, prefer to have Kamala be president. And you know why, right? Because they'll bully her. He says that Trump is unpredictable. He don't know what the thing is. And that's why he held back against doing the things that he was doing back then. He held himself back. You know, didn't invade Ukraine and all that stuff and do all kinds of bullshit. Because he felt Trump was unpredictable. He couldn't read Trump. So if that's the case, that's the reason why he favors Kamala to be president. Because he could just bully over all right. Interesting. Oh, look at this. So in the first week of um, September, uh, one so 1.78 trillion was wiped out of the U.S. stock market. So there you go. All right. <laughs> so Bitcoin crashes below 54k. Bulk is institutional and retail sell-off. Declining unemployment rate announcement. So, uh, like I said, um, look at this. BlackRock remains the only major player not participating in the recent sell-off. Other prominent institutions like Fidelity, ARK Invest, Grayscale, and uh, Sifu have. Like I was saying, these firms are the ones that are playing the market. And they they would trigger these sort of things because it, they have all the money to do so. That's what sucks. That's why I don't care for ETFs. All right, now you understand why I don't care for ETFs. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so let's see what we have here. Nevada welcomes Bitcoin and crypto. Day two of America loves crypto tour. Cool. 
Um, I don't know. It, it just seems to be no enthusiasm right now in the market. So I can just see it just dumping down, dumping down, dumping down. I hope it really super dumps. I want Bitcoin to just dump hard. That way I could buy it. <laughs> That's all. I just wanted to dump hard so I could buy some. All right. So uh, with that, let's talk about it now. I know you guys have been waiting for Death Watch. But um, I really wanted to bring those, you know, that information up because, you know, I feel it's important. So here's Hamsterbot, all right? So Hamsterbot, oddly enough, um, I'm going to go ahead and try this. All right, so let me see here. Nope, I don't want to do that. Hamsterbots. So oddly enough, all right, um, let's see if this works. I'm just going to try it. I don't anticipate it working, but... I'm going to try it anyways. All right, so now I did that. Um, it is said that hamster bot is over. All right, because this is what happened. Let's take a look at the telegrams. Hamster bot news channel is gone. Okay. Uh, what else? And uh, Hamsterbot chat gone. So that's the case. The likelihood of this platform uh, gone is gone. <laughs> All right. So um, that's unfortunate. So it lasted uh, two weeks. Right. This thing was pretty much on fire. All right. So you can see there, lasted two weeks, 13 days, two weeks. It's too bad, you know. Um, this thing has a lot of potential to grow long and hard and stiff and hard and strong. And it's just unfortunate, you know, that this thing is over. So, so it's not really technically on Death Watch, even though I'm doing a Death Watch episode. It's is dead, all right? Um, because usually the indicator of a deletion of a Telegram group that's associated with a platform, if there's no announcements especially, uh, and just an automatic deletion, yeah, it's over. They usually stop paying. And I'm guessing that the withdrawals are starting to cut into the deposits just a tad. And... You know, they're because at first they're having a six-figure deposit, and now thirty-five thousand cut into that six-figure deposit down into five figures, and so with that, as it's kind of going into it, shit. If you ran that thing longer, you'll get your six figures back. But I don't know. Maybe they ran. If we ran it longer, they thought maybe it's going to eat more into their deposits, and usually. As deposit withdrawals are closer to one another, the likelihood of it going away gets stronger. I didn't think this was going to be a strong indicator of it going away, looking at these early numbers here. But that's the only thing I could think of as to why it is going away. Unless the recent all of a sudden volatility in the market, Bitcoin dropping to 54, uh, could have been a factor. I don't know. Um, but Bitcoin's been steadily declining, right? Um, it was in the 60s. I mean, it reached back in the 70s momentarily, like on a pump, and then it fell back in the 60s. And now it's been kind of riding mid-50s. Um, speculation is that it could go into the low 40s. Uh, I haven't heard anything below 40s, but... I've been seeing more and more about being in the 40s. And then they say that the election will be the key, uh, especially if Trump is elected president, that it's going to just be riding uh, high. They said the presidential election will do that. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so Hamsterbot is done. Um... 
there isn't really any other sort of uh, updates at this time on other platforms from what I can see right still no new update on Vortech right numb nuts Titans associated with that numb nuts um, let's see yeah there's really not nothing else to talk about we covered Overdome yesterday Daisy is still BSing about, you know, they're talking about, you know, KYC now, again, for those that want out type of stuff. And um, I've been working on Get Fit, all right? I know you guys have probably seen it out there, this, this one called Get Fit Mining. It's a work in progress. Things kind of, uh, there's a lot to it to set up and to actually get it going, you know, on your phone, on your app, phone, you know, to play on your app. You know, and it's all fitness activity, right? And um, that's what this is right now. It's not Death Watch, but I'm just kind of letting you guys know what I've been doing behind the scenes. I've been trying to work on this thing set myself up but man it's it's some work <laughs> that's all i gotta say it, it's it's work for sure um uh, but yeah so i just wanted to give you guys the latest update um on that you know that hamster bot has has ran away now um no more you know hamster doesn't want to play no more it wants to go away but on the positive side there is derby our right, derby's been going on steadily and consistently before hamster bot and after hamster bot these guys are still going so that's cool all right so if you like hamsters and you still want to mess around with hamsters uh but make sure you go you're using solana see that s there this is a solana based platform where you could grow your solana so if you don't mind that and you want to grow your Solana, well, this is where it's at. Check it out. All right. The link is in the description here. And uh, other than that, everything else in the description, all right, it's been updated so that way it can reflect current platforms minus HamsterBot. And so comment down below, subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon. Let me know what you think. Uh, um, you know, always feel free to comment or stop in my Telegram group if you like to chat it up. And I also have Linktree if you like mashed up music. And other than that, I just want to say thank you and I'll see you next one.